The Caribbean Sea is the sea of the Atlantic Ocean in the tropics of the Western Hemisphere. It is bounded by Mexico and Central America to the west and southwest, to the north by the Greater Antilles starting with Cuba, to the east by the Lesser Antilles, and to the south by the north coast of South America. The Gulf of Mexico is also nearby. The entire area of the Caribbean Sea, the numerous islands of the West Indies, and adjacent coasts, are collectively known as the Caribbean. The Caribbean Sea is one of the largest seas and has an area of about 2,754,000 square kilometers. The sea's deepest point is the Cayman Trough, between the Cayman Islands and Jamaica, at 7,686 meters below sea level. The Caribbean coastline has many gulfs and bays, the Gulf of Gonaf, Gulf of Venezuela, Gulf of Darien, Golfo de los Mosquitos, Gulf of Paria and Gulf of Honduras. Coral Reef, near Sufriere Quarter, St. Lucia The Caribbean Sea has the world's second largest barrier reef, the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef. It runs 1,000 kilometers along the coasts of Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, and Honduras. Christopher Columbus landing on Hispaniola in 1492. The name Caribbean derives from the Caribs, one of the region's dominant Native American groups at the time of European contact during the late 15th century. After Christopher Columbus landed in the Bahamas in 1492, the Spanish term Antillas applied to the lands, stemming from this, Sea of the Antilles became a common alternative name for Caribbean Sea in various European languages. During the first century of development, Spanish dominance in the region remained undisputed. From the 16th century, Europeans visiting the Caribbean region identified the South Sea as opposed to the North Sea. Tulum, Maya City on the coast of the Caribbean in the state of Quintana Roo the Caribbean Sea had been unknown to the populations of Eurasia until 1492. When Christopher Columbus sailed into Caribbean waters on a quest to find a sea route to Asia. At that time the Americas in general were unknown to most Europeans, although they had been discovered in the 10th century by the Vikings. Following the discovery of the islands by Columbus, the area was quickly colonized by several Western cultures. Following the colonization of the Caribbean islands, the Caribbean Sea became a busy area for European-based marine trading and transports, and this commerce eventually attracted pirates such as Samuel Bellamy and Blackbeard. As of 2015 the area is home to 22 island territories and borders 12 continental countries. The International Hydrographic Organization defines the limits of the Caribbean Sea as follows, coral reefs in the British Virgin Islands note that. Although Barbados is an island on the same continental shelf, it is considered to be in the Atlantic Ocean rather than the Caribbean Sea. The Caribbean Sea is an oceanic sea largely situated on the Caribbean plate. The Caribbean Sea is separated from the ocean by several island arcs of various ages. The youngest stretches from the Lesser Antilles to the Virgin Islands to the northeast of Trinidad and Tobago off the coast of Venezuela. This arc was formed by the collision of the South American plate with the Caribbean plate and includes active and extinct volcanoes such as Mount Pili, the Quill on St. Eustatius in the Caribbean Netherlands and Mornay Trois Pitons on Dominica. The larger islands in the northern part of the sea Cuba, Hispaniola, Jamaica and Puerto Rico lie on an older island arc. The Shaded Relief Map of the Caribbean Sea and Gulf of Mexico Area the geological age of the Caribbean Sea is estimated to be between 160 and 180 million years, and was formed by a horizontal fracture that split the supercontinent called Pangaea in the Mesozoic era. It is assumed the Proto-Caribbean Basin existed in the Devonian period. In the early Carboniferous movement of Gondwana to the north and its convergence with the Euramerica Basin decreased in size. The next stage of the Caribbean Sea's formation began in the Triassic. Powerful rifting led to the formation of narrow troughs, stretching from modern Newfoundland to the west coast of the Gulf of Mexico which formed siliciclastic sedimentary rocks. In the early Jurassic due to powerful marine transgression, water broke into the present area of the Gulf of Mexico creating a vast shallow pool. The emergence of deep basins in the Caribbean occurred during the Middle Jurassic rifting. The emergence of these basins marked the beginning of the Atlantic Ocean and contributed to the destruction of Pangaea at the end of the Late Jurassic. During the Cretaceous the Caribbean acquired the shape close to that seen today. In the early Paleogene due to marine regression the Caribbean became separated from the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean by the land of Cuba and Haiti. The Caribbean remained like this for most of the Cenozoic until the Holocene when rising water levels of the oceans restored communication with the Atlantic Ocean. The Caribbean's floor is composed of suboceanic sediments of deep red clay in the deep basins and troughs. On continental slopes and ridges calcareous silts are found. 
Clay minerals likely having been deposited by the mainland river Orinoco and the Magdalena River. Deposits on the bottom of the Caribbean Sea and Gulf of Mexico have a thickness of about 1 km. Upper sedimentary layers relate to the period from the Mesozoic to the Cenozoic and the lower layers from the Paleozoic to the Mesozoic. Caribbean plate tectonics The Caribbean sea floor is divided into five basins separated from each other by underwater ridges and mountain ranges. Atlantic Ocean water enters the Caribbean through the Anagata Passage lying between the Lesser Antilles and Virgin Islands and the Windward Passage located between Cuba and Haiti. The Yucatan Channel between Mexico and Cuba links the Gulf of Mexico with the Caribbean. The deepest points of the sea lie in Cayman Trough with depths reaching approximately 7,686 meters. Despite this, the Caribbean Sea is considered a relatively shallow sea in comparison to other bodies of water. The pressure of the South American plate to the east of the Caribbean causes the region of the Lesser Antilles to a high volcanic activity. There was a very serious eruption of Mount Pelé in 1902 which caused many casualties. The Caribbean sea floor is also home to two oceanic trenches, the Cayman Trench and Puerto Rico Trench, which put the area at a high risk of earthquakes. Underwater earthquakes pose a threat of generating tsunamis which could have a devastating effect on the Caribbean islands. Scientific data reveals that over the last 500 years the area has seen a dozen earthquakes above 7.5 magnitude. Most recently, a 7. One earthquake struck Haiti on January 12, 2010. Sketch of the North Equatorial Current and the Gulf Stream The hydrology of the sea has a high level of homogeneity. Annual variations in monthly average water temperatures at the surface do not exceed 3 degrees Celsius. Over the past 50 years the Caribbean has gone through three stages, cooling until 1974, a cold phase with peaks during 1974 to 1976 and 1984 to 1986 then, a warming phase with an increase in temperature of 0. 0.6 degrees Celsius per year. Virtually all temperature extremes were associated with the phenomena of El Niño and La Niña. The salinity of seawater is about 3.6% and its density is 1,023. 5 to 1024. 0 kg slash M3. The surface water color is blue-green to green. The Caribbean's depth in its wider basins and deep water temperatures are similar to those of the Atlantic. Atlantic deep water is thought to spill into the Caribbean and contribute to the general deep water of its sea. The surface water acts as an extension of the northern Atlantic as the Guiana Current and part of the North Equatorial Current enter the sea on the east. On the western side of the sea the trade winds influence a northerly current which causes an upwelling and a rich fishery near Yucatan. The Caribbean is home to about 9% of the world's coral reefs covering about 50,000 square kilometers, most of which are located off the Caribbean islands and the Central American coast. Among them stands out the Belize Barrier Reef with an area of 963 square kilometers which was declared a World Heritage Site in 1996. It forms part of the Great Mayan Reef also known as the MBRS and being over 1,000 kilometers in length is the world's second longest. It runs along the Caribbean coasts of Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, and Honduras. During the past 10 years, unusually warm Caribbean waters have been increasingly threatening Caribbean coral reefs. Coral reefs support some of the most diverse marine habitats in the world, but they are fragile ecosystems. When tropical waters become unusually warm for extended periods of time, microscopic plants called zooxanthellae, which are symbiotic partners living within the coral polyp tissues, die off. These plants provide food for the corals and give them their color. The result of the death and dispersal of these tiny plants is called coral bleaching, and can lead to the devastation of large areas of reef. Over 42% of corals are completely bleached and 95% are experiencing some type of whitening. Historically the Caribbean is thought to contain 14% of the world's coral reefs. The Belize Barrier Reef photographed from the International Space Station in 2016 The habitats supported by the reefs are critical to such tourist activities as fishing and diving, and provide an annual economic value to Caribbean nations of 3 US dollars. 1 to 4. 6 billion. Continued destruction of the reefs could severely damage the region's economy. A protocol of the Convention for the Protection and Development of the Marine Environment of the Wider Caribbean Region came in effect in 1986 to protect the various endangered marine life of the Caribbean through forbidding human activities that would advance the continued destruction of such marine life in various areas. Currently this protocol has been ratified by 15 countries. Also, several charitable organizations have been formed to preserve the Caribbean marine life, 
such as Caribbean Conservation Corporation which seeks to study and protect sea turtles while educating others about them. San Con Biosphere Reserve, Mexico in connection with the foregoing, the Institute of Marine Sciences and Limnology of the National Autonomous. University of Mexico, conducted a regional study, funded by the Department of Technical Cooperation of the International Atomic Energy Agency, in which specialists from 11 Latin American countries plus Jamaica participated. The findings indicate that heavy metals such as mercury, arsenic, and lead, have been identified in the coastal zone of the Caribbean Sea. Analysis of toxic metals and hydrocarbons is based on the investigation of coastal sediments that have accumulated less than 50 meters deep during the last 150 years. The project results were presented in Vienna in the Forum Water Matters, and the 2011 General Conference of said multilateral organization. Average sea surface temperatures for the Caribbean Atlantic Ocean. Hurricane Katrina is seen just above Cuba. The climate of the Caribbean is driven by the low latitude and tropical ocean currents that run through it. The principal ocean current is the North Equatorial Current, which enters the region from the tropical Atlantic. The climate of the area is tropical, varying from tropical rainforest in some areas to tropical savanna in others. There are also some locations that are arid climates with considerable drought in some years. Rainfall varies with elevation, size, and water currents. Warm, moist trade winds blow consistently from the east, creating both rainforest and semi-arid climates across the region. The tropical rainforest climates include lowland areas near the Caribbean Sea from Costa Rica north to Belize, as well as the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. While the more seasonal dry tropical savanna climates are found in Cuba, northern Venezuela, and southern Yucatan, Mexico. Arid climates are found along the extreme southern coast of Venezuela out to the islands including Aruba and Curaçao, as well as the northern tip of Yucatan tropical cyclones are a threat to the nations that rim the Caribbean Sea. While landfalls are infrequent, the resulting loss of life and property damage makes them a significant hazard to life in the Caribbean. Tropical cyclones that impact the Caribbean often develop off the west coast of Africa and make their way west across the Atlantic Ocean toward the Caribbean, while other storms develop in the Caribbean itself. The Caribbean hurricane season as a whole lasts from June through November, with the majority of hurricanes occurring during August and September. On average around nine tropical storms form each year with five reaching hurricane strength. According to the National Hurricane Center 385 hurricanes occurred in the Caribbean between 1494 and 1900. The region has a high level of biodiversity and many species are endemic to the Caribbean. The vegetation of the region is mostly tropical but differences in topography, soil and climatic conditions increase species diversity. Where there are porous limestone terraced islands these are generally poor in nutrients. It is estimated that 13,000 species of plants grow in the Caribbean of which 6,500 are endemic. For example, Guayac wood, the flower of which is the national flower of Jamaica and the Bay of Hybros, which is the national flower of the Dominican Republic and the Ceiba which is the national tree of both Puerto Rico and Guatemala. The mahogany is the national tree of the Dominican Republic and Belize. The caimito grows throughout the Caribbean. In coastal zones there are coconut palms and in lagoons and estuaries are found thick areas of black mangrove and red mangrove. In shallow water flora and fauna is concentrated around coral reefs where there is little variation in water temperature, purity and salinity. Leeward side of lagoons provide areas of growth for sea grasses. Turtle grass is common in the Caribbean as is manatee grass which can grow together as well as in fields of single species at depths up to 20 meters. Another type shoal grass grows on sand and mud surfaces at depths of up to 5 meters. In brackish water of harbors and estuaries at depths less than 2. 5 meters widgeon grass grows. Representatives of three species belonging to the genus Halophila, are found at depths of up to 30 meters except for Halophila engelmani which does not grow below 5 meters and is confined to the Bahamas. Florida, the Greater Antilles and the western part of the Caribbean. Halophila baylonii has been found only in the Lesser Antilles. Puerto Rican parrot green sea turtle, Grand Cayman Island marine biota in the region have representatives of both the Indian and Pacific Oceans which were caught in the Caribbean before the emergence of the Isthmus of Panama 4 million years ago. In the Caribbean Sea there are around 1,000 documented species of fish, including sharks. Flying fish, giant oceanic manta ray, angel fish, spotfin butterfly fish, parrot fish, Atlantic Goliath grouper, tarpon and moray eels. Throughout the Caribbean there is industrial catching of lobster and sardines. 
There are 90 species of mammals in the Caribbean including sperm whales, humpback whales and dolphins. The island of Jamaica is home to seals and manatees. The Caribbean monk seal which lived in the Caribbean is considered extinct. Solanodons and huches are mammals found only in the Caribbean. Only one extant species is not endangered. There are 500 species of reptiles. Islands are inhabited by some endemic species such as rock iguanas and American crocodile. The blue iguana, endemic to the island of Grand Cayman, is endangered. The green iguana is invasive to Grand Cayman. The Mona ground iguana which inhabits the island of Mona, Puerto Rico, is endangered. The rhinoceros iguana from the island of Hispaniola which is shared between Haiti and the Dominican Republic is also endangered. The region has several types of sea turtle. Some species are threatened with extinction. Their populations have been greatly reduced since the 17th century, the number of green turtles has declined from 91 million to 300,000 and hawksbill turtles from 11 million to less than 30,000 by 2006. All 170 species of amphibians that live in the region are endemic. The habitats of almost all members of the toad family, poison dart frogs, tree frogs and leptodactylidae are limited to only one island. The golden coquille is in serious threat of extinction. In the Caribbean, 600 species of birds have been recorded, of which 163 are endemic such as titties, Fernandina's flicker and palmchat. The American yellow warbler is found in many areas, as is the green heron. Of the endemic species 48 are threatened with extinction including the Puerto Rican Amazon, and the Zapata wren. According to BirdLife International in 2006 in Cuba 29 species of bird are in danger of extinction and two species officially extinct. The black-fronted piping guan is endangered. The Antilles along with Central America lie in the flight path of migrating birds from North America so the size of populations is subject to seasonal fluctuations. Parrots and bananaquits are found in forests. Over the open sea can be seen frigate birds and tropic birds. A view of San Andres Island, Colombia. The Caribbean region has seen a significant increase in human activity since the colonization period. The sea is one of the largest oil production areas in the world, producing approximately 170 million tons per year. The area also generates a large fishing industry for the surrounding countries, accounting for 500,000 tons of fish a year. Human activity in the area also accounts for a significant amount of pollution, the Pan American Health Organization estimated in 1993 that only about 10% of the sewage from the Central American and Caribbean island countries is properly treated before being released into the sea. The Caribbean region supports a large tourism industry. The Caribbean Tourism Organization calculates that about 12 million people a year visit the area, including about 8 million cruise ship tourists. Tourism based upon scuba diving and snorkeling on coral reefs of many Caribbean islands makes a major contribution to their economies. Thanks for watching.